Ivy, uh, you couldn't have been real happy after the uh, first period. What did you say to the team after the first period? I uh, just talked about, uh, you know, we needed to uh, win the second period. Uh, you know, there was no sense in in frustration. Wouldn't help. What needed to help was, you know, us going north-south, uh, you know, attacking their net, attacking their D, and winning that period. We won the second. Uh, wasn't a, a power play goal there, but uh, it was at the, at the end of the uh, our power play, so the, their guy was just stepping on, and uh, we were we talked about winning the third period. We went out there, won that third period. Our power play got got us a big goal, and our penalty killing at the end there did a, a good, good job for us, and uh, were able to win it in a skills competition. Charlie O'Connor, you're on with Elaine. Go ahead. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Elaine. Obviously, you guys come away with the win tonight, but do you come away from this game satisfied or, or frustrated with the hole that you guys put yourself in to start with? No, oh, I mean, uh, you know, if I look at this game, I, and obviously I'm going to watch it again tomorrow, but, you know, I thought we carried the play. Uh, you know, we found ourselves uh, down 3-1, uh, made a, a goaltender a change, and... Uh, won the second and won the third. Uh, you know, it's about battling. It's about competing. Our guys battled hard, competed hard uh, right from the beginning. But uh, a team scored three. So, uh, you know, we had to get better. Uh, they got a fourth one that went off our stick. Uh, Moose couldn't pick up there. Uh, but, uh, you know, we faced adversity head on and competed and found a way to win. Anthony Sanfilippo, you're on with Elaine. Go ahead. Hey, Anthony. Hey, A.V., uh, you briefly mentioned the special teams there in the first question. Uh, you, you get the one power play goal, and like you mentioned, the other one was almost a power play goal, and then the PK comes up big at the end of the third period. Is this the kind of specialty teams that you want to see now from this team moving forward to help you win games? Well, specialty teams are a big part of games, and uh, you know, usually when you win uh, that area, whether it be the power play or the penalty killing, you get, give yourself a good chance to, to win the game, and uh, came up big tonight. A power play goal is a pressure time. We're able to tie the game, get a, a, a late penalty. Penalty killing comes up big, get the kill against one of the best power plays in the league. So I think for us, and in fact, again, coming back from behind, this is not an easy league to uh, come back when, when you're trailing, uh, especially, you know, down by two after the first. So able to battle back hard, give credit. I thought G's lines and I, uh, you know, set the tone. I thought him and Jakey uh, really played a hard game. They led the way and uh, found a way to win. And that's that's what we have to do at this time. Ed Barkowitz, you're on with Elaine. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, Elaine. Elaine, what's your level of concern with Carter Hart? And did you just talk about the decision to replace him? Well, I replaced him. Uh, I didn't think he had been good enough, so... Uh, said, told Moose he was going in. You know, at the end of the day, it's it's uh, it's the toughest position in hockey. Carter's a very young goaltender. Uh, we all believe in him. We all think that uh, he's got a tremendous amount of potential. Uh, but uh, you know, it's it's a tough position, and uh, he's going to learn from this. He's going to get better. I believe he's got to battle a little bit harder in goal at, at this time. And uh, I'm confident that, uh, you know, he'll work with Kim and uh, he'll uh, try and get his game to where it needs to be so that our team uh, can have a chance in every game. We'll do two more questions. Wayne Fish, you're on with Elaine. Go ahead. Hey, Wayne. Hey, Elaine. Uh, what went into your decision to use Nolan Patrick on the second uh, shootout spot? And do you think that goal can give him a little confidence? Uh, I hope it does give him confidence. It was a, a great move, and he's been working extremely hard. Um, my list for shootouts is is uh, basically, I would say, given to me with you know our Kim, our goal, our goalie coach, and and our goaltenders. You know who's the who's the toughest shooter to, to go against? Who's feeling it? You know every game it modifies a little bit, but uh, those guys got uh, Kim's got a real good feel on on our guys and. And the homework they do uh, against the opposition's goaltender, and uh, I have a lot of faith and uh, trust in him. Last question, Jordan Hall. You're on with Elaine. Go ahead. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Elaine. 
if I could go back to Carter Hart for a second, yep. can it be tough at times to balance the approach of having him play through his struggles or having him sometimes come out a game or two to watch and, and rebuild his confidence that way? Well, you know, right now it's about winning games. So, you know, we've got to find a way to win games and a goaltender has got to find a way to, to stop the puck. That being said, you know, I've been very fortunate in this game to, you know, have some great goaltenders in front of uh, me, in front of in my teams, uh, you know, Lundqvist, Luongo, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, all those goaltenders at one time or another uh, went through challenging periods. Uh, all players do, not just at the goaltender position, but all players do. You got to show mental strength, mental fortitude. You got to battle through, and that's what we expect Carter to do.